Question we received from Katlejo and he asks, if we randomly chose a word from the let letters of the word mathematical, what's the probability that it starts and ends with the same letter? Well, first up what we need to do is we need to count how many options there are all together of those 12 letters of mathematical. If they were all different, it would just be 12 factorial. But in fact, there are two A's, there are three T's, and there are two M's. Okay, so I think there's, sorry, there's three A's, two T's, and two M's. But there's the total sample space. Next up, we need to count how many start and end with the same letter. The only options are M, A, and T. These are different cases, so they don't all have the same, the same number of possibilities, so let's just consider them separately. If we start and end with M, then we've got those letters are fixed at the end, the start and the end, and we've got to rearrange the, the remaining letters in between. Now, there are 10 of those remaining letters, but there are three A's and two T's. So it'll be 10 factorial over three factorial, two factorial, or 302,400. If we start and end with A, we're at now, it's slightly different because now we've still got 10 letters left to arrange in the middle, but now they're just two M's and there are two T's. Note that there's a, a single A on its own, which is just like all the other, the single, other single letters. So this time it's 10 factorial over two factorial, two factorial. And then lastly, if we start and end with T, well, now I've taken the two T's out and we've got 10 letters left. Three of them are A's and two of them, of them are M's. So in fact, that's actually the same as the first case we dealt with. So the probability that a randomly chosen word from those letters mathematical starts and ends with the same letter is just those three cases added together divided by the sample space. It comes to about 7.58%. Another question which might be asked, and it might be asked first up on its own, is what's the probability that the word does not start and end with the same letter? Well, we would do it in exactly the same way. We would get to our answer that it does, and we would work out the complement. So we would just take our 100% minus 7,58%, giving us 92,42%. Right, I hope this is helpful. Enjoy the rest of your day.